Wow, my red in the face. Well. <laughs> well, what are we fixing today? Today, we're at the cottage. Got stuff to do. Do, do, do. Uh, brought home a set of bunk beds from the other property. Pieces of it there. Pieces of it there. We're gonna put that together. And it's going to go where this bed is, which is right across from my work area, basically. So, I know when I took this bunk bed apart, the top bunk was at an angle. So we got some fixing to do. So that's what we are fixing today. Let's go fixing it. All right, stuff in the way. That's for sure. We need to move stuff in the way. All right, that made some room. Get rid of some pillows. There's some mattresses. <sighs> Don't believe I'm going to use this, so I think I fold this up. It's probably a World War II army cot, some sort of something. I don't know. It weighs 150 pounds. I can barely carry it in one arm. We have another spring. Oh, it's the same kind of bed. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna need one of those. Here we have a bed frame. So if anybody here has a house that's isn't lived in all the time, has food close to the woods outdoors and you probably know what all this is if you have pets you may not but all this dirt Is the remainders of some mouse poison. I'm thinking this is going to be on the bottom. Here is one of the heads or tails. Not certain which. And here is a head or tail. I guess to make sense, this would have to go on the top, otherwise, nothing's going to work, right? Or I bet that one was stacked. And this one was stacked. Which doesn't make a lot of stacking sense. Which is why it didn't work. It just sits on here. Yeah. All right, let's look at this. This is, I think this is how it was. That's why it was messed up. 
at mismatched ends. So this was here. This was on the other end. Between that and that is a several inches. So I'd have to extend this one up to make it work. But I think I'm willing to do that. All right. So this is the one without the pegs. This is the one without the pegs. So we're going to put this here. Now that's kind of small. So those bed frames over there are 30. This is 27. That's just too small. So, not this one. Where does 30 fit in here? 30, 30 is still small. So let's go with this overbuilt heaviest duty army one. Ah. See where this puts us. Well, okay, I see, I found that I do have these. Let's see what this buys me. Facing the wrong way. Of course. Why would that one go easy? It's the hardest one to get to. All right. Let me just see, is this going to work? No. So. Back out. All right. That's that. On this side. Now that goes way downhill. So I must have this upside down. Because this one's got the pegs. Here. That's straight. Now the ruler. This bottom pin is broken. So 41 and 3 quarter. I 
It probably ain't far off. Let's stick with iron. There we go. Springies. Well, I do have these. Yeah, we need a bunch more. And here I have a spring. Oh, fit. Yes. It'll probably actually work. We take this out and make more of these. Say five in each. So I need need to make five. So let's go cut five of these. Now, as much as I know, you want to see me use the saw of death. Over there, I got a new toy. Well, it's an old toy, but it's new to me. So, we're going to use this. It is a, let's see. Black and Decker. Eight and a quarter inch compound miter saw. Has kind of a neat action to it. Go down and does a little song and dance. The blade in here ain't the sharpest, but as you know, I'm not the sharpest blade in the tool box either. So we're gonna take that and a pencil and we're gonna cut some wood. So let's take our first cut, square it up. Get rid of that nail hole. Square it up. See, this one's got a crack in it, so I'll have to work around that crack. Oh, good. It's kind of at the edge there. Mark it. We got a broken butt spot, so let's cut that out. And it's compromised, but it's there. We'll use it. Just a bit outside. A 
not the sharpest tool in the shed. This is long enough when I can get two out of it. So, we are using the death machine. Eight and a half. A little bit less than eight and a half. That's what it's going to do. That's what it's going to do. Can't fix it. Four and a quarter. All right. Saw of death. Here we come. some more of that cedar stuff. It's a little bit thicker than that, but that's okay. And my measurement stick. Bring you around. I don't even have to cut it. Alright, don't need to cut it. This one's gonna go in the middle here. Because I don't know what they're gonna touch. Maybe they will. And this one, which is meaningless. Let's put it in the middle. Okay. Oh, this is the other monster heavy bed. Ram. I don't like sliding it, but I didn't have any choice. I'm gonna get in here. This is the heavy, heavy one. Okay. Mattress eye. Mattress eye. Mattress eye. Could be worse. The only thing we're missing. The only thing we're missing is a bar here to keep people from falling out. And I suspect that's what they were doing with these. So let's see what I can do. to mount something here. Well, that wouldn't be bad at all. Just put a bolt in there. Why not? Pop this with this. 
So I can get the other one. Can I pull the same thingy over there? I don't see why not. my ruler in my pocket of course so I need two bolts that are at least two inches plus you know so maybe three inch bolts let's see if we can find that okay I got stuff and things This one seems to be holding together better. Oh, it's heavy now. Let's start with this. Stuff and things. I have a carriage bolt. Put it in here. The washer. Awesome square nut. Awesome. Yep. I have to tap the carriage bolt a little bit because this is quite long enough. So, like a so, like a so, and like a dreamy so. Good and tight. Good enough? Good enough! Not yet. Okay, good enough. Sir, good enough. Alright. Now we do that over here. Sure, not then. This one I'm just going to start. And I'm going to take this force to hook onto it. That's how it came out. Okay. It's tight enough. I can get it better with another wrench, probably. But there we go. That has actually stiffened it up quite a bit. This is what I ended up doing. That the hook that's there, I put a bolt through it. Three. Uh, 
three sixteenths bolt through there like that, or five sixteenths bolt, five thirty seconds. I don't know. And another one there, and that acts as a roll bar for people in the bed. That part probably don't need it, but it sure stiffens it up. The mattresses are not the right size mattress for the bed, but it's a place to sleep. Gives us two more beds for when the boys come over. And you know, for the once a year, it gets used maybe once a year. It should be fine. They were uh, at my mom's house and they weren't being used at all. They were in a bedroom that was piled full of stuff. So, you know, so that's the way that works. This is all pretty stiff here now. I'm, I'm pretty good with it. Ain't gonna go sideways. Doesn't wanna go that way very much. You could put a couple of adults on there, even though the mattress is a little narrow. I lose probably six inches down there in my space. And this is my walk through space, you know, this. So my stairs are there. Go upstairs, you come down. And then that's the walkway and you lose, we'll lose a little bit of space, you know, six inches. I can deal with that. This thing don't have to be here. We'll do something. This stuff don't have to be here. We'll make some room. I like it. And uh, with that, if you look, you see the sun on my face. It's almost sunset. <sighs> One rule about being up north is no matter what time the sun sets, you gotta watch it. It's the one rule to rule them all, as was established on a recent podcast from Dr. Z. Yes, sir, the one rule. Sunset, you must be there. So, with that, my sunset is starting to happen, and I need to leave. Give me a like if you thought I did good. Give me a message if you think you'd have done this differently, or you think I'm crazy just reusing what I have so with that said um, you know subscribe and that stuff whatever with that said if uh, life gives you a chance to get up in the world then make yourself a bunk bed bye <laughs>